welcome to my channel. Well, what I have here is a tray full of Rough Riders that are different. And what I mean by that is it's patterns that you don't see very often or there's something kind of like unique or different to them about them that are like normally a traditional pattern. For example, we have the Rough Rider Razor Trapper. All right, so it's that one-handed opening type of razor blade but it's also a trapper now i didn't want to go with different handle material just different patterns you know so i'm not concentrating on the handle material being unique just the pattern of the knife now some of these are available on the secondary market all of these are rough riders and uh, some of them are no longer available or very hard to find but this is the, um, what do you call it, the dog bone jack. Yes, doggy bone jack. It's got the little dog bone shield on it. And a little whistle here. It's built into it. So it's got that little spear point type of blade. And a little pin blade. I'm not going to go completely all over. I'm just going to show the differences of each one because, you know, it's going to take me forever to do this. All right. On the uh, same kind of like trapper line, you know, you look at this and you say, eh, what's so special about that? That's just a trapper. No, it's a lockback trapper. It's a trapper, but it's a lockback. Let's see if I can give you the model numbers on this it's a uh, rr 1070 right so you see how it's going see how the theme is working um what was it about this guy you look at him and you say oh yeah that's that's just a trapper no it's not it's the tailgate trapper so instead of um spade blade you've got a little screwdriver bottle opener might come in more handy than spaying. Depends on what kind of tailgate parties you have. Uh, this is just, you know, um, the beaver type of trap or whatever. But it's got that beaver shield. It's got a little different blade, you know, instead of the standard. It's got like a little saber blade on it. You got the flattened beaver roadkill. And a fairly long blade on that sucker. I don't have my ruler out. Like I said, we're not going to do a complete review. I'll try to link in the description of the re every one of these I've discussed before somewhere. All right, so here's a relatively new one. See, what I like about them is they're kind of innovative. You know, they're coming out with something different. Now, they got the flipper part right, like I said. The only part they really messed up on was the thumb stud deployment. This is just a torture device for your thumb. Don't even try it. I mean, unless you like torture, then try it. Everything else works fine on this. Uh, yeah, it's questionable why you would put a non-flipping spade blade in there, but I don't know. That's for people that think that you're not quite fully into the advancing. They're like, I want something modern, but I, but I want to still keep something traditional. All right, here you go. Here's one that almost made it. All right, in the same vein, a more recent one is the um, Sabelli, but it's a lockback. That's kind of cool. I, I know there are probably other companies that make Sabelli lockbacks. But then you got the Sabelli Trapper. That's something different. It's got that nice little Persian blade on it. I have both the versions, you know, the red, the black and red, and then the red and black this one has a little bit stronger back spring on it because uh people were complaining that the other one had too light of a back spring so they improved you know they listened to you and tried to improve all right here's another one here's a basically a tl29 out of the coal miner series but it's got a little adjustable wrench on the end here which is good if you're just dealing with nuts, but you 
uh, are not needing to pull anything. That's where pliers come in more handy than an adjustable wrench because you've got this capability. Plus, you can yank on stuff, fabric or whatever. All right, we have, you know, oh, I've seen a mouse scrap before. But this is no ordinary muskrat. This is the carnivore jack that has a serrated side. And it came with that little pocket clip type of thing in a jiggy. All right. Here again, you know, Rough Riders is taking a aluminum handle. Nice little knife. They pop VG10 in it. This is a good little knife. Kind of a little different there. Of course, you got the um, multi blade contraptions. This has got a little bit of everything in there. I'm not going to open up all the blades, but you know, a little clip, sheep's foot. Oh, what is this guy? Spade blade. I am opening up all of them. Coping blade. You know. A little bit of everything in that one. Um, along similar lines, we got this guy in the Rifleman series. It's got five blades. This one's a little pin, I think. Yeah. And then way back here, you got a clip. What was it to say? Long rifle. I like the the way they dyed the bone on this one too. Spay blade. Spear point. And sheep's foot. So yeah, that's something that's a little bit different and interesting. And then you can take just a regular knife like this. Which is not, you know, all that regular. Because it's, now it's a trapper that's got a worn cliff on it. And this one... Instead of having the spay blade over here, I modified it to make it into a spear point. So that's not something you see every day. Of course, we have the famous Pipe Doctor. They're coming out with it in the uh, wasp pattern. I'll be sure to grab one of those. This comes in real handy because it's not pointed. It'll get into channels to clean out if you put some... Um, paper towel in there you know drop some oil get into knife channels it'll help you push stuff through uh, lanyard holes all kinds of stuff like that all right here's a little uh knittler so it's a canoe with a lock back but it's also a whittler it's got a little pin blade over here and a little coping blade so that's different. That's something you don't see a whole round, a whole lot. And then of course the double take, double trapper. Some of these, like I said, are kind of like novelty. But you got double trapper there. You don't see a lot of those running around. And then you've got the double muskrat. So if you thought two blades of the same type were great, here's four. All right, we got that in there. We're making it, we're making it. And then this guy, he kind of looks like a spider co. So, I mean, he's got that going for him. And then it has that weird unlocking mechanism where you got to push down on this to unlock your blade. And then you have a secondary little sheep's foot kind of blade there. All right, that's different. Then we got this guy. This is from an old pattern. There's a nail nick there, but I never get it. There it is. It's a little um, pliers. Not super huge opening jaws or whatever, but still. Mostly, I think this was called a radio repairman's type of knife, but you still have a little. This one is uh, sharpened down here, but not up here. And it makes it into a little common screwdriver. And then you've got... Got to get to where I can see it. Yeah, that's the nail nick for the main blade. But good luck getting it. There we go. Got a little drop point. Spearish kind of blade. What is your number? Identify yourself. 1080. RR1080. So, 
There we go. I think we covered everybody. Everybody in the list. Focus. We went through them pretty quick. But I just wanted to show you um, the different kind of knives that they'll come out with. Not just handles, but uh, stuff that uh, you don't see other manufacturers come out with very often. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.